many people would say by definition, if, if it's a machine, it's not conscious. Well, I think uh, that's a funny way to use words, and uh, that's absolutely right. I hear this all the time. But then if you ask people, well, what do you mean by consciousness, they say mysterious things. And uh, I think we can explain consciousness the way science explains other things. You work for a while and you try to say, what is it that we're really talking about? What are the phenomena, what happens in consciousness that I have to explain? And uh, you see, if you talk to most people, they have a very fuzzy idea of consciousness. They say <laughs> it's being aware of everything that's going on. Well, we're not. It's knowing what your mind is doing. Well, we don't. I mean, when I talk, I haven't the slightest idea of the processes that produce the words. So how I make the words is not conscious. And when you talk to me, uh, and these sounds come in and I make sense of them, yes, I'm conscious of the words in a sense, but I'm not at all conscious of the tremendously complicated processes. We, we ought to have more respect for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And the joke, I think, is that when a person says, I'm not a machine, they're showing a lack of respect for people. How is that? Well, because we're the greatest machine in the world. The brain has a hundred billion cells. They're organized in a way that took, uh, I may sound like Carl Sagan with these millions, but, <laughs> but there's no way to avoid it. Uh, it really, uh, if you look at the uh, evolution of animals, five million years or so ago, there were no people, there were chimps, or rather there was the common ancestor of the chimp, and that's a great animal and it does lots of things. Uh, it can even learn words, it can't uh, make complicated sentences, and before the chimpanzees we have all the uh, other kinds of mammals that uh, you and I know are dogs and cats and and uh, something wonderful happened in the last few million years and that's a very short time because it's one percent of the time since we were fish. Mm -hmm. Now uh, when I say that to say we're not a great machine is is to not respect ourselves I think you see when a person says I'm conscious I'm just something different it's different from anything else in the world that's sort of pleasant and boastful but it doesn't give you anything to be proud of. It just says, you know, there's a little gleaming jewel here and all my virtue comes from it and nothing I did yeah. earned it. Well, you know, there's a sense in which if we look at the history of science, it, it's stripping us of our pretensions. Uh, Copernicus robbed us of the notion that we're at the center of the universe and Darwin mm -hmm. robbed us of, of the notion that perhaps we descended from the gods and Freud robbed us of the notion that we're even in control of, of our own lives and now artificial intelligence is coming along and saying not only aren't we in control but, but we're machines and but I think it's you horrifying could, I think to some people. But if you think about it twice mm -hmm. you see that it's rather uh, just the opposite of that. If we're descended from the gods well, that's nice, but it's no uh, reflection on us. It, there's no virtue to you to have been created all in one mm -hmm. piece. So I think that the uh, so-called humanists who feel that yeah. dehumanizing the person is bad uh, are shielding themselves from the glory of having... We're, we're like Prometheus, not like God. We've struggled for, mm -hmm. for this 400 million years through the slime, and in every era... Uh, when this animal uh, learned to climb a tree and learned to take care of the children when it's cold and all, all the different things, uh, then natural selection added another little part to the brain. And, you know, I guess there's something like 400 kinds of computers and each of them has developed specially. And the mystery of consciousness uh, to me is not, isn't it wonderful that we're conscious, uh, but it's the opposite. Isn't it wonderful that we can do things like talk and walk and understand without having the slightest idea of how it works. Mm -hmm.